What's up guys, it's Mr. Mister, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm bringing you my 2021 NFL season predictions. The first preseason game is about less than 10 days away, I believe. The Hall of Fame game is this week, so that's pretty exciting if you really want to get... If you really want to get hyped for football, and re the real NFL season starts in about a month, training camp has started, it's an exciting time for football fans, and so let's get started. I will, I'll just start off with like the division winners, because I don't want to get too like in depth like I did last year, so I could get destroyed, but We'll start off with the AFC East, and I believe that the Buffalo Bills will indeed win the AFC East, and probably comfortably once again like it did last year. I mean, their team is just it's just so unbeatable. Josh Allen is just playing lights out. He's definitely a top five quarterback. He can become a top five quarterback if he isn't already by the end of this season. You know, Stephon Diggs. He's making a case as the best wide receiver in the NFL. Most definitely top five. Um, the defense is just nasty. Tredavious White, Tremaine Edmonds, Micah Hyde. It's, there's just so many playmakers all over the ball. Looking at the other teams that might... The Dolphins, they were good last year. But the only problem is Ryan Fitzpatrick won't be there to pick up Tua. And help him if he does get into any jams because Tua kind of struggled last year in his playing time, and the team actually had to pull Ryan Fitzpatrick into the game. So we'll see how that goes. The Patriots could also have a chance, my bad guys. Um, with all their free agent signings, you know, drafting Mac Jones, even though he's not going to play right away. Patriots have already announced that Cam is going to be their starter to start off the 2021 season. You know, the Patriots have much better weapons than last year, but I don't think, I'm not sure if they'll be able to, like, completely take out the Buffalo Bills. They will be a team to watch, though. The Jets are, by the way, not they're not quite ready yet. Zach Wilson should be a, a he should a, I feel like he will have a great future and in in New York and the Jets might make it one of the best divisions to watch in football honestly over like the next 5 years. Moving on to the AFC North. This is a coin toss really between two teams, the Ravens and the Browns. Um, you can argue any, either of these teams, and I would, wouldn't disagree with you, but I will be going with the Baltimore Ravens. I just have a gut feeling, Lamar Jackson, he's just going to keep getting better and better. You know, that defense, it did lose Matt Judon, but it's still really nasty, you know, J.K. Dobbins is just going to, he's just... He showed so much promise last year. I think that the Ravens' offense should be fun to watch over the next, like, five to ten years with that Lamar Jackson-J.K. Dobbins duo. Uh, they did add Sammy Watkins, and they finally did draft the wide receiver Rashad Bateman, so this offense is even more deadly. And to add that with Pro Bowl tight end Mark Andrews, this offense will just be hard to stop. The Browns, you can argue they will be a team to watch. They had a bunch of free agency signings. I think that the Browns are definitely going to give even... They could even give the Chiefs problems, to be honest. You know, they we almost saw them beat the Chiefs, even if Patrick Mahomes wasn't there for part of the game. But they almost did beat them. Um... Moving on to the AFC South. Now, I actually expect this to be one of the weaker divisions in football. Um, but I do expect the Tennessee Titans to win the division. 
and here's why. So, Caleb, they did draft Caleb Farley. The only problem I do have is that the pass rush was just awful last year. You know, Vic Beasley and Jadavion Clowney, they were supposed to be great additions to help the front seven, but they just did not work out. You know, I don't think either of them had a sack all year. You know, they... They released Beasley before the season even ended. You know, Clowney just signed with the Browns a few months ago. So, I think that the Titans secondary is going to be in for a long year because you saw they did not have a good defense last year. One of the worst in the league, to be quite frank, because of that pass rush. Just not being able to get there. But their offense, you know... Derrick Henry, you can argue whether him or Christian McCaffrey, best running back in the game. I feel like most people would say he's the best running back in the game. He's led the NFL in rushing yards the past two seasons. He's just been an absolute monster, rushing for 2,000 yards last season. I think he's going to have even better season this year, probably. You know, they did add Julio Jones. I know that's one of their biggest options in that they did lose Corey Davis, but that's a huge upgrade going from Corey Davis to Julio Jones, even if Corey Davis did show his best season or his best performance yet last year. I think they will, the Titans will have a good season. The only team that I will see, that I can see competing for the division is right now, is the Colts. And that is because, but it's very... I don't know, because the Colts just announced that Carson Wentz just suffered a leg injury. He's going to be out for quite some time, and who knows what it'll look like when he comes back, especially after he looked so shaken up last year in Philly. And Jacob Eason isn't going to win the Colts football game, so I'll just say that right now. Um... The, J- the Jaguars aren't quite ready yet to start their winning ways with Trevor Lawrence. They're not in that. They're not in a position quite yet. They should be. They should make the AFC South their own. I feel like in the pet in the next few years, though, with the things with the way things are shaping out, I think this would be a great time for the Jaguars to s- start their role of dominance for like the first time in franchise history. Moving on to the AFC West, I would be stupid not to pick them. I just believe that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to once again win the AFC West for like the fifth straight year, I believe. It's just been an unbelievable run for the Chiefs the past three years, going from losing, just suffering heartbreak after heartbreak after heartbreak in the playoffs to finally reaching a Super Bowl and winning one in 2020. Um, Mahomes is just going to be, is still only 25, and he's just going to keep getting better and better. And, you know, the defense is still really starting to rise. That was really the reason why the Chiefs hasn't gone to the Super Bowl three straight years, you know. The Chargers are one team to look out for to give the Chiefs some trouble, not just this year, but for like the next like five to ten years. Justin Herbert is really starting to show some promise. He was electrifying. He won Rookie of the Year last year. I think he will be great once again. Um, I do... S- I don't think that the Chargers are right quite yet ready to dethrone the Chiefs unless... The Chiefs suffer a bunch of chokes or injuries. I don't just don't think it's the Chargers are quite ready to take the next step towards winning that AFC West. Um, moving on to the NFC, we have the NFC East, and this is a big gamble. I think every team pretty much improved. Except for, you can, I think every team did improve in their own ways. Um, but I do believe the Dallas Cowboys will be taking that division home. 
You know, you could argue any team in this division, even though it was awful last year. But every team didn't improve, you know. The Cowboys, they improved on their defense, you know, drafting Micah Parsons. They just signed Malik Hooker. Um, and their offense is just nasty. You know, you got Zeke. You got Dak, who's coming back from injury. Um, you have Amari Cooper. You know, CD Lamb. Um, I think it's going to be a great stretch. I think this is going to be a pretty good season for the Cowboys. Um, the Eagles, um, they finally did get a good wide receiver. They drafted the Heisman winner, Devonta Smith. Um, they did get a steal. They actually traded up for the Cowboys to get that pick. And I think this, that's a, that will help Jalen Hurts greatly as... He will be united with his former teammate. Um, the football team, that's another team to look out for, you know. They signed Fitzmagic, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, they have Terry McLaurin entering his third season. He's entering that elite status. towards be And you can argue whether he's a top 10 receiver in the game or not. I would say he's not quite there yet, but he's definitely in the conversation. Um... The defense is just nasty. You saw it last year. The front, actually, the front seven. You know, Chase Young, defensive rookie of the year. You know, Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Montez Sweat. It's just not going to be fun for opposing defenses. And you know, that's just it's just not going to be fun, especially it'll especially for the Chiefs who they actually have to play this year. And you saw what happened. What. Hold on. We saw what happened last year. What happens when Patrick Mahomes can be rushed um, by a good um, defensive line. And the Buccaneers um, and the football team actually has a better defensive line than, than the Bucks. So, All right, moving on to the NFC North. This is assuming that everything stays well. Aaron Rodgers has announced that he's going back to the Packers for this season. He might be gone next season, who knows, but right now he is planning to stay this play the season as a Green Bay Packer. So because of that, I am once again picking the Green Bay Packers to win the NFC North. You know... Aaron Rodgers coming off maybe his best season ever as a pro. You know, Devontae Adams definitely coming off his best season. Aaron Jones coming off his breakout year. You know, that defense, especially that front seven, is nasty. With Clint, Kenny Clark, Preston, and Zadarius Smith. You know, that's just, um, that's just not going to be fun for opposing offenses to go against, you know, Jair Alexander, he's becoming one of the best corners in the game, and I just don't think that any other NFC North team is just strong enough to overtake the Packers, and I believe that the Packers will easily, uh, big emphasis on easily, win their third straight NFC North crown. Alright, moving on to the NFC South, this should be a no-brainer. I am going with the former Super Bowl champion to once again to win the NFC South, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They took, they didn't lose anyone. They didn't really add anyone, but they were just so good last year, and especially with Drew Brees gone, they should be even better. They won't. The Saints won't necessarily be in their way. The Saints still are a problem, but they lost a lot of players. Not even Breeze. They lost Sheldon Richardson. Or, yeah. Anyways, they lost Trey Hendrickson, who had a breakout year. You know, they lost Emmanuel Sanders, who was really the only... Frick, it was Sheldon Rankins. I'm a dumbass. Anyways, not Sheldon Richardson. John Richardson is not playing for the Saints. Anyways, they lost Emmanuel Sanders, who 
It was really the only compliment to Michael Thomas. And speaking of which, Michael Thomas won't be playing for like the first few weeks of the season due to another injury. Injuries are really piling up for him, and I don't know if the Saints are going to be able to deal with all of those. And I can't expect that the Saints are going to be able to rely on Kamara, Alvin Kamara, to completely um, carry this offense the entire season. So They also... Um, you know, I'm just not going to say anything else to make, just avoid making myself look stupid. You know, moving on to the NFC West, the final division, and I have the Los Angeles Rams taking this division. You know, they looked great last year. They had the best scoring defense in the NFL, you know, and that was with... And they... Won about 11 games with Jared Goff at QB. And now they have a veteran, Matthew Stafford. Into the, They add him into the mix. I believe that Matthew Stafford is way better than Jared Goff. And I believe that the, that is the next step that the Rams need to take in order to go places. You know, any team in this division could win, but I just see the Rams just being too powerful. You know, the 49ers, they just drafted to Lance. You know, their defense is coming back from injuries, but they will be nasty. You know, Debo Samuel, you know, Raheem Mostert's back and healthy. You know, the rookie, Trey Lance, third overall pick. He should be really good for and, and really work in the system for the Niners. You know, the Seahawks, they their defense was just awful last year. You know, their offense kind of died in the second half of the season, you know. It kind of went downhill after the Buffalo Bills game where they got blown out. Um, But Russell Wilson, he's kind of getting up there in age, but he does have a lot to work with, you know. He has, he still has Chris Carson, um, DK Metcalf. He he got went over. He had like thirteen hundred yards last year, I believe. You know Tyler Lockett's still there. You know he is a good supporting cast, and you know the Cardinals too. Don't forget about the Cardinals. They signed JJ Watt and AJ Green. You know, this should, and they still have DeAndre Hopkins and Kyler Murray. This should be an excellent season. They also improved on the O-line. They signed Rodney Harrison, who was a Pro Bowl center for the Las Vegas Raiders. They just traded him there. Um, this should be a really fun division to watch, but the Rams do have my vote here. All right, wild card spots. We'll start off with the AFC. So, since the Ravens will be winning the AFC North in my predictions, the Browns should take the first wild card slot or one of them. Um, in the next slot, I have the Los Angeles Chargers. I don't believe that the Chargers should have a big fall off unless the unless injuries just pile up or the new coaching staff just absolutely blows it. Um and in this last slot, this is a really tough decision, but I will be going with none other than the evil empire themselves, the New England Patriots. You know, with all their free agency signings, you know, Cam has to get better, you know. Mac Jones is there to keep the young rookie QB to help him if he struggles. Um, that defense is going to be nasty. You know, Dante Hightower is coming back. Calvin Noy is coming back to New England. Um, that defense should be... Bet interest to be really good, and I think that the Patriots definitely have a chance at revenge and going back to the playoffs. All right, NFC wild card spots. Um, first off, I f feel like it would be silly to not include an NFC West team. 
and this is not the first one that I will be including. I have the Seattle Seahawks in one of the wild card spots, and it's I have already explained it. Their offense should be enough to carry them to the postseason once again. Russell Wilson, he's only missed the playoffs once in his career, and he's only and he's never missed a game either. So. And in the next wild card slot, because this is not in exact order, but I do have the San Francisco 49ers. And I will tell you why. That defense, if you watch 2019, their defense was just nasty. Nick Bosa, Fred Warner just had, just had a breakout year. You know, Eric Armstead. Uh, they did just lose Richard Sherman, but they'll live. You know. I think that that defense is really going to just take the next step. And their offense, don't forget, they have George Kittle, by the way, and for Trey Lance to throw to. They also have Debo Samuel and Raheem Mostert. So just keep in mind that they have a, they don't have the, as bad as an offense as people think. And whether it's Trey Lance or Jimmy Garofalo throwing the ball, I think that the 49ers will definitely have a chance at going back to the playoffs. All right, in the last wild card slot, this was a very tough one, but I am actually going to go with, and this has never happened before because of how because of how many teams are allowed in the playoffs, I actually have the entire NFC West division. This is probably gonna be a mistake, but I have the entire NFC West division making the playoffs. The Cardinals will be taking that last slot. Um, their defense should be getting better. You know, it does suck to lose Patrick Peterson and Hassan Reddick, but you know Chandler Jones. He does want to trade. But I do think he will play the season out. Um, J.J. Watt, he is getting up there in age, but he's still really good. Um, you have other star young stars like Buda Baker, uh, Byron Murphy, you know, Isaiah Simmons, hopefully looking for a bounce back year. Uh, you look on the offensive side, James Conner, you know, A.J. Green, DeAndre Hopkins. You know, Kyler Murray, who looking for revenge. Honestly, whoops, sorry guys. He's honestly so underrated in the league. But that will be it for my um, uh, 2021 season predictions. Let me know what you guys think. And leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Sorry for... Uh, though, sorry for the really bad quality, uh, doesn't look that great, um, but yeah, I will see you guys later, peace.